A Filipino-American Story Before the founding of America, even before the settlement of Jamestown, there were Filipinos in what is now known as the continental United States. Throughout history, Filipino Americans have led movements, confronted injustices, and have created world-shaking ideas. They disrupt. So why is their history largely untold? We must tell them to unsettle the pages of U.S. history. They reveal who we are as Americans. People from the Philippines, which was under Spain, first landed in California as part of the Spanish galleons. On future sailings, many jumped ship to form settlements in what would be known as Louisiana. It is a fact. Filipino Americans have been in the United States for centuries. In 1898, the United States entered into war against Spain and took possession of the Philippines, paying Spain $20 million. To rationalize colonization, American officials referred to this as benevolent assimilation, claiming to protect Filipinos' rights and liberties. But the Filipino people, who were already fighting for independence from Spain, resisted U.S. colonization. This was known as the Philippine-American War. Fought with extreme violence, General Jacob H. Smith notoriously ordered his soldiers to kill every Filipino boy over 10 years old. Many Americans opposed this, including Mark Twain and the African-American Buffalo Soldiers who were sent to the Philippines for battle. Somehow, America needed to justify this war. They even transported some Filipinos to the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair for display. Erased from our history, the Forgotten War became the catalyst of Filipino migration to the U.S. Because of the Philippines' colonial status, the people became a major source of cheap labor. And so, Filipinos migrated to Hawaii as early as 1906 to work in sugar plantations. By the 1920s, many Filipino laborers also came to the West Coast to become a driving force behind America's agricultural industry. But many of these labor migrants were met with racial hostility. White Americans accused Filipino men of stealing their jobs and women. Filipinos faced down mobs, beatings, and murder, yet they resisted this oppression. Filipino towns such as Stockton's Little Manila were formed to surf as safe havens up and down the West Coast. Labor strikes demanded fair wages and working conditions. Under pressure, Congress greatly restricted the migration of Filipinos and promised independence for the Philippines. Through it all, Filipinos continued to persevere. World War II was a time of great upheaval for both the Philippines and Filipino Americans. Japan bombed American bases in the Pacific, at Pearl Harbor and in the Philippines, prompting the U.S. to enter the war. As a colony, the Philippines allied with America. President Roosevelt established the United States Armed Forces in the Far East to enlist nearly 250,000 Filipinos into the U.S. Armed Forces, a decisive move that helped win the Pacific Theater. After the war, America granted independence to the Philippines. Filipinos who joined the armed forces in the U.S. gained the right to citizenship. Filipino veterans in the Philippines were promised citizenship as well and military benefits. However, the passing of the 1946 Rescission Act broke that promise for many of those veterans. American military bases remained in the Philippines recruiting Filipinos. At one point, there were more Filipinos in the U.S. Navy than the Philippine Navy. Many of these Navy sailors came to America. Filipino women married to U.S. military men also migrated to the U.S. These women raised families, bought land, and created communities. They built the next generation of Filipino Americans. In 1965, an important legislation greatly expanded immigration quotas. By 1970, the Filipino population had ballooned. In a decade, it had more than doubled. Many of these new immigrants were women and professionals. In the 60s, Filipino Americans fought for equality alongside Black Power and Chicano movements. In California, Larry Itliong, Philip Veracruz, and other organizers led a strike against grape businesses. Filipinos convinced Cesar Chavez and his association to join the strike. Filipinos started the 1965 Delano Grape Strike, and together with Latinos, they had one of the most successful strikes against agribusiness in history. The younger generation were also in revolt. 
San Francisco State University and UC Berkeley students, including young Filipino Americans, led a strike that established ethnic studies. Many other groups organized to serve the Filipino American community. There are now over 4 million Filipinos in the United States. FONS, the Filipino American National Historical Society, tells the stories of the Filipino American experience. Established in 1982 by Dorothy Ligo Cordova and Fred Cordova, Fawn saw the value in documenting Filipino American history, honoring October as Filipino American History Month. And why wouldn't they? Filipino Americans persevere for a just and prosperous society no matter the stakes. Whether they excel in public service, head the Filipino food movement, inspire us as sports heroes and as creative artists, whether they spark innovation across industries, lead movements for justice, fight for national recognition and the Congressional Gold Medal for Filipino World War II veterans, Filipino Americans disrupt and their stories cannot fade. No matter what forces make us forget, we recover them, reveal, and speak about their stories. Because as we make history, we must also tell it to the world.